These are the three easiest and best mods you can do to your car. Today, we're going to store the sickest floor mats on the market, the most wicked seat covers ever to keep your four wheel drive nice and clean, and something that's long overdue bonnet struts. I usually work on my car and lean it on the top of the head. Now, it nearly shoots me into space, they're that good. The previous owner was double floor matting. Original floor mats, and then these ones. As you can see, it's got a fair bit of pattern, so when dirt and stuff gets in there, it's really hard to clean in between the crevices. They don't fit well when I'm driving, they like slide around. So we gotta pop the trim off. Make sure you're careful when you're taking these screws out because they hide way at the back behind the carpet so and then the trim sits there so it's pretty easy to just rip them out of place so i just put in the brand new floor mats and they look sick i love the raised edges so no mud or water can actually fall out onto your carpet it's a fully molded fit so it doesn't slide around but they give you these clips that go under them to help hold them into place this clips under the button but when it sits under the trim it doesn't let the trim sit flush, so the trim bubbles up, goes down, and bubbles up again. If you look at it now, it's it's a pretty good fit just based on the 3D molding, so I'm just gonna leave it here. Another thing I do like is this part goes over your spare plate, so you don't get any debris or anything built up in there, and they're so easy to clean. I actually got rear floor mats. They're in two pieces. My mate Danny got a bedrock pair, and it's one whole piece, which I reckon looks a lot sicker. I found these pretty hard to line up in the middle with the Velcro street. And look at that. Such a good fit around the seats. Don't move. This is what I was talking about. There's a Velcro strip there. So it's a little bit hard to pull tight, but you barely notice it. It looks sick. And I think these probably are the best floor mats on the market. I really, really like having a clean, flat surface. It's so good not having the notches. Just makes it so much easier to clean especially when you're dirty covered in mud sand it's the dream for four-wheel driving all mats are done now onto the seat covers i started to read the instructions but uh i don't think they actually apply to me they say something fancy like having airbags in your seat i don't even know if i have airbags in the first place it's the seat covers they came in an actual really nice package got a little stubby cooler some stickers A massive reason seat covers are actually so important is to keep your original seats in good condition and 1997 and mate they look brand new one idea that i really like is these clips on the raceback seat covers it's actually uh, velcro but velcro over time will tear so this is actually a really smart idea and it's really easy adjustable a good tip when putting on your seat covers is to actually turn them inside and out and then you can just roll them down the seat. The same with the headrest. Makes life so much easier. A good tip when you're doing this is to actually put your two fingers in there, put them in the seat rest holder and then roll them down. These seat covers are premium neoprene from Razorback and I got a custom logo put into it, Bushbound. It's my fit out company. I do lightweight draw systems for vans, four wheel drives, also do electrical fit outs, so 12 volt. Also got a center console cover, but the top section actually doesn't go into the crevice where your phone usually sits. It doesn't want to close properly. Um, it's not binding or anything, but I think just having that extra little thickness of the neoprene just doesn't want to click itself down. So we're done on the floor mats and the seat covers. Next, we are doing tailgates and bonnet struts. I've needed to do the bonnet struts for ages now. Every time I work on my car, I've either got to clamp the strut or I just lean it on the top of my head. So the bonnet struts were pretty easy to take off. Two screws, one down here and one up here. I actually thought the left was the driver's side, but it's actually the passenger side because if you're in the car and driving it that's what they go off they go on the left and right of driving in the car not looking at it face on so 
I had a little bit of confusion, but once it clicked, I quickly took them out and threw them in the other side. Look how good they are. Value for money, 50 bucks is unreal for the front and the rear. So the tailgate was super easy as well. Just two bolts at the bottom and the top, and they came out super well. I got my legend of a mum to help me out. She held it up while I quickly undid it. We banged them in there, and it works so well now. On the old stretch, I used to actually have to help lift the tailgate up to the full way. It would just stop about halfway and didn't have any more push to go up. Now, they shoot up so well, I don't have to touch them at all. It is the easiest mods that can fully change your car. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Every view means the absolute world to me. I would love it if you could subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks, legends.